Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Tony Alyssa. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. So in today's video, we'll just be talking about different topics. And if y'all hear a little chatter, these people at the pool, so we just have to go through it. So basically today I've been wanting to talk about maneuvering through or like pivoting through the things that we're going through while God is still calling us to do what he needs us to do. So basically a few months back I was talking to my friend and I was talking to my sister and we were all going through things in our life while still trying to pursue um different things that we want to do so like for my sister she wanted to focus on real estate for me i was like i want to take my youtube channel this channel serious like i want to post on a consistent schedule i want to do this i want to do that for my friend she wanted to finally upload because she had been like she does tiktok and all that other stuff but she wanted to get into longer form content on youtube she has the video she been vlogging but she just want to start uploading well editing and then uploading so the one thing i realized was the only thing that was keeping us back from actually going forth and doing those things were little things that would pop up in our life so for instance my friend she they had got into a car accident so they had to go to physical therapy then they were watching her friends um kids like during the day so that was her like okay whenever we're done getting through this season basically is what it was will she like she'll start uploading for me it's like i'm going through this i'm going through that i have to dash all day every day <laughs> and um but whenever but honestly it wasn't even a door dash because i had already came up with a schedule of what i was gonna do but one thing and then my sister she was going through other stuff but one thing i realized is we will, month after month, we will keep saying, bro, whenever we get through this, then we'll focus on whatever, you know, the purposes that God called us to do. And it just hit me like, it will never be the right time. Like after so many months of finally trying to, well, after so many months of saying like, okay, after I get through this season, after I get through this thing that I'm going through, then I'm gonna upload videos. After I get through this thing, I'm, and I'm like, bro, every, I, in my mind, I was like, God, it's not always going to be something. And in reality, most of the times there is always going to be something. So what I realized is that the devil knows what God wants us to do. Most of the time we haven't talked about it or he's seen it in the spiritual realm. So he knows what God has called us to do. He's most of the time know um, our abilities more than we know our abilities to um, do the things that God called us to do. So he'll keep us from... One, he'll hope that we never find out the ability, like we have the ability to do it. And two, he'll always try to put stuff in the way to keep us out of it, to keep us from doing it. So one thing I realized is, Tony, you're going to have to post the videos. You're going to have to do whatever through what you're going through. So, yeah, because it's never going to be a time where we're not trying to focus on or where we don't have to focus on something else while pursuing God. Hey, I gotta drink some water. But yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, we're always gonna have something that we're dealing with while trying to pursue God or pursue the thing that pursue God and pursue the thing that God wants us to pursue. So, for instance, I'm gonna give y'all an example because I love giving examples. <sighs> y'all know the, the car thing I was dealing with that still at the beginning of the year finally squared that away and I'm like okay cool I came up with my schedule um of how I'm gonna film like how I'm gonna work and then film during the day edit and upload literally the week after I don't even know if it was a full week my tire just popped why no reason because even when I went to the dealership to get it changed you know they'll be like oh it was a nail or oh, it was this I was like do y'all know what caused my tire to pop they was like no okay a week after that got into an accident not my fault the dumbest accident on earth like y'all it was so dumb that you know what i'm not gonna say that because thank god but an accident was like it could have been avoided if everyone was paying attention <laughs> but yeah and so i'm just like bird it's just thing after thing after thing so one scripture i'm gonna give y'all for that because when i had got my car and everything that i was like 
God already know how the devil works. So please just protect me, X, Y, Z. And I got into the accident. When I got into the accident, y'all, it really, I don't know. I was just like, bro, it's like when you feel like you're doing everything right, you're in the place where God called you to be. Um, you're walking on the car with God and things still happen. It's kind of, it kind of, to me, was like a slap in the face. But it's like, you know, whatever. You go through things, you get through things. And so... I, but when I got into the accident, I was like, I gave up and I'm done. Like, bruh, I've been doing, I mean, to me, I just been doing too much. I'm exhausted. I, I, like, I was feeling exhausted. I'm just like, yeah, it's over with. And y'all know what my I'm done was? I was like, I'm done. I'm getting a job. <laughs> and it's like, but yeah. And that, but to me, it's like, okay, if God didn't kind of do that, that would be like, okay, I'm done. Like, rebellion time type of. Thing. And, but then I had to repent after that. I had to forgive everybody because yeah so after that i was still trying to push through i was still trying to like get my mind back together um and trying not to like trying to get myself out of the state of i give up because the last time i was like god i need a break i got i need a thing back in um last year y'all already know so i was like let me not go back there again let me not go back to where i feel like i give up i don't want to do anything else i don't want to do no faith moves i don't want to like let me try to get myself out of that so the one scripture that i've been saying is proverbs chapter 23 verse 26 it says my son give me thine heart and let thine eyes observe my ways and when i looked up the word observe one of the meanings or one of the definitions um is to accept God's ways favorably. Yeah, I had to set up from the time I found it after the accident up until this very day I say it. And now I can see how God's word actually like moves within your heart or like moves within your life. Cause I'm like, a lot of times God will do stuff that we don't agree with if we're being honest. Like we would, ra we would rather it be our way. If you're like me, you would rather it be your way because you don't need all the dramatics. Like I said it all the time, I'm a virtual person. Um, I don't really care for like the elaborate testimonies, okay? <laughs> but um, but if that's God's way, that's God's way. So I just had to keep saying that's, that's um, scripture. Another thing, back to what I was saying about like, things keep on popping up. Like every time you think, okay, I already got that squared away. Let me focus on what God called me, called me to do. And another thing pops up. Um, the scripture that I've been saying for that most recently, the scripture I've been saying for that um, most recently is Colossians chapter 2 and verse 14. It says, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, nailing it, uh, taking it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. So i just been saying that scripture. Um, if you've ever read the book of, I forgot what it's called. It's like Deliverance from Demonic Covenants and evil spirits or something like that if you've ever read it one of the part in one of the chapters he was saying like he likes to liken the stuff that the enemy whatever he called it like a demonic diary entry like they see they can't see your whole life but they see okay i see what god has for her in this aspect and they'll write stuff to like frustrate those plans destroy those plans and if you're not praying against it so one thing i like to say or i like to pray is strike the enemy with blindness um and that's out of i'm gonna find that where elijah and elisha was i can't remember the scripture right now but i like to say that like god please strike the enemy our command whatever you want to say to strike the enemy with blindness according to that scripture and then blot out like i pray the blood of jesus over any any um Thing that they've written down any plan that they came up with to counteract what i'm trying to do so that's two things or three i don't know how many i just said <laughs> things i've been praying to come up against that and another thing is while we're praying it may happen and while we're praying and saying these scriptures like it may happen instantly for some but it may take a while for others and even through that i would say push another thing like you just have to push through it and get through it because when I listen to a lot of people's testimonies, the same elaborate testimonies that I don't really want, is I realize like people, those people who are like really successful financially, it may not always be spiritual, which is another thing, but the people who are um, really successful financially or even making an impact like through their influence, 
they pushed through the things that they were going through. They didn't wait for those things to pass. They literally pushed through their sacrifice on one end. So for instance, like last month, I was like, I went to Millions Conference, but honestly, I was like, God, if I go to Millions Conference, this is gonna hurt your girl financially. <laughs> so it, it's, it's, I think, uh, it's either I take this financial hit and go to Millions Conference, or don't go to Millions Conference and gain the wisdom and knowledge that I've been praying for just to have uh, money. And that is a easier said than another situation because that is a hard sacrifice because I didn't have to pay for that, okay? <laughs> but either way, I got the knowledge and in the end, no matter how hard it was, then everything was still taken care of. So yeah, most recently, it finally clicked that God has been telling me like pivot, right? So literally, I just looked it up last night. I was like, God, why do I keep seeing pivot even at Millions Conference, Marquise? Gold, I think his name was. He was speaking about a divine pivot when God pivots, pivots you. And I just started following this girl and she was talking about some a pivot and I just keep seeing pivot, pivot, pivot. So I'm like, let me look at what this means. Um, because just to my basic knowledge, to me pivot just means to turn or like change type vibe. So I was like, let me look it up and I'll put the definitions on the screen because I don't remember them word for word. But the biggest ones that stuck out to me was business. It was like in the context of business when you completely change what you're doing. So for me, even with this YouTube channel, if y'all don't know, I had a business before. Um, I love doing business. Right now I am going I'm gonna do that in another video, but I work with a small business right now. I just love business. I love branding. I love the behind the scenes. I just love business. And so, but the way my life is going right now, I'm gonna have to push through and do something completely different than what I'm doing right now to go forth in what I wanna do in business. So, I feel like God, you either pivot on your own, or like partner with God to pivot, or God is just gonna pivot you. So, if you don't want God to have to step in, <laughs> I mean, sometimes he'll do it anyway, but if you don't want God to, if you don't want to have God, like, step in and be like, okay, I was patient, I'm going to just have to do it before you mess up the plans that I have for you, and just pivot you, partner with God, and pivot. So, that's where I'm at right now in terms of pushing through whatever I'm going through in life and um, pivoting. So, one thing I want, and I'm going to just say this so I can hold myself accountable and so I can tell y'all and y'all can hold me accountable too if you want to. Um, I want to post on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Why? Because that works with my schedule that I have going right now. And I feel like Tuesdays and Thursdays, regardless of what I'm going through, I'm going to have to commit to it. Like, film and post Tuesdays and Thursdays. So, I'm going to get this video up today and we can just keep this going. But I really wanted to just talk about this. If anyone else is feeling the same thing, like bro, every time I try to do what God has called me to do, something else come up and I just feel like I can't do what God has called me to do. Like, And another thing, prayer against the spirit of stagnation because you'll be trying to do something that you'll be trying to do or work towards your purpose, do whatever God has called you to do. And then something come up. When you're finished dealing with whatever came up, and you try to focus, th something else comes up. And then it's just a repetitive cycle. And you look over two, three years and you're still in the same place because of those things that came up. Those um, frustrations or the things that the enemy wanted to distract you with. Pray against stagnation. Pray against distractions. Pray against the plans and attacks of the enemy concerning your life. And while you're praying for these things, look out for God. Um, don't let your heart be hardened towards God because that could be easy. I know for me. I'd be having to feel like, God, I'm sorry, like, I repent for unforgiveness towards you because, yeah, sometimes I'd be feeling like, God, like, why do you let stuff happen? Like, why? But in the end, when I look back over it, I'd be like, okay, cool, I see how you got me out of this. I see how the enemy truly cannot prevail when I'm protected by God. And another thing is, like, things will come. Dang, I hope I can remember that scripture. It's like, things will come, but... How does it go? <laughs> I can't remember the scripture, but it's like the enemy will, like the stuff will come up, stuff will come up, stuff will happen in life, but the thing is that he will never prevail. It will never, he like he will never be able to finish his plan, which is either to still kill, steal, kill, or destroy whatever you have going on, or even you. So yeah, I hope this encourages y'all. 
Um, y'all can drop anything that you're working towards or don't because sometimes God calls us to not talk about the things because I can tell y'all one thing which is a schedule because I'm gonna just be posting but like business wise some things I do like to um, keep to myself until it's done unless God said to speak about it so y'all can talk about basic stuff that you um, want to do or you want to work towards or you can even drop your own testimonies of you trying to work towards what God wants you to do and stuff coming up, you know, just to encourage others. Or if you have already been through that, you could definitely talk about the stuff that you pushed through and where you're at now. But yeah, thank y'all so much for watching this video and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.